To get started with Lua modules, let us create a very simple module that prints hello world when a function is called. Local M creates a local table that will hold our module's functions and variables. Next function defines a function hello within the module. Return M allow access by other Lua scripts that require this module. To use the module, you need to load it with the require function in another Lua script. Require loads my module and assigns it to the local variable my module. The require function looks for a file named my module Lua in the search paths. This calls the hello function from my module, which prints hello world to the console. In Lua, you can define functions within a module that are either public, accessible from outside the module, or private, accessible only within the module. This distinction helps in encapsulating functionality and exposing only the necessary parts of your module. To use the module, create another Lua script that requires this module and calls the public function. Now let us create a practical utility module that performs file operations. This module will include a function to read the content of a file. Local table file utils will hold our module's functions. Read file defines a function that takes a file name as an argument. It attempts to open the file for reading. IO open attempts to open the file in read mode. If it fails, file will be nil and error will contain the error message. If the file cannot be opened, it prints an error message and returns nil.
If the file is successfully opened, it reads the entire content of the file then closes the file after reading. To use this utility module, create another Lua script that requires this module and calls the read file function. Require loads the file utils module and assigns it to the local variable. Local content calls the read file function from the file utils module, attempting to read the content of the test file. If content checks if the content is not nil. If it is not, it prints the content of the file. If it is, it prints a failure message. Meta tables provide a powerful mechanism for customizing the behavior of tables. When used with modules, meta tables can add advanced functionality such as inheritance, operator overloading, and custom method resolution. Local MT creates a meta table with an index field pointing to M. The index field is used to look up methods in the module table. Function M new defines a constructor function that creates a new instance of the module. Local self creates a new table and sets its meta table to MT, effectively making it an instance of the module return self. This returns the new instance. Function mHello defines a method hello for instances of the module. The colon syntax automatically passes the instance, self, as the first argument. To use the module, once again we need another Lua script that requires this module, creates an instance, and calls the method.
require loads the module and assigns it to the local variable my module. Local obj creates a new instance of the module by calling the new function. Obj hello calls the hello method on the instance obj, which prints hello from meta table. Using meta tables and modules allows you to create more sophisticated and flexible Lua modules, enabling patterns like object-oriented programming and custom behaviors.